Hi, Hi Floss Tube. Tube. I'm Nancy. And I'm Laura. And, and we, we are, are the Addicted, addicted Sisters. sisters. Uh, it's it's better to be back after a week and not have such a long break in between. Yes, I, that last week I felt like we were gone forever, even though we still did, you know, <laughs> videos. But it seemed like such a long, long time. And I felt like I couldn't remember how to do videos I know, again. I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> uh, so we had some <clears throat> lovely comments. We yes. love that you guys comment on our videos and that you say such nice things and that you enjoy our relationship and. Um, you all if think, you only knew. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Because <laughs> they always say how nice we are to yes. each other. So, and just all of your lovely words are really, really sweet. Uh, Cindy Rush said that she went back to finish watching this video, last week's video, and typed in twisted instead of addicted. She got a rock band video. Imagine that. She From didn't know we were musical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> actually, we, we are. <laughs> we are both musical, so yeah. But that's funny. Just not in that way. Yeah, not quite, huh? <laughs> <laughs> then also, uh, Diana Harris wanted to know where do we hold our retreat? She needs one because her retreat has been canceled. Um, well, if you are in the area, we are hosting a stitching get together where in Missouri, and we're going to hold this in Blue Springs, Missouri, on Saturday, March 31st, which, yes, afterwards I realized it was, it was Easter, Easter weekend, but um, CC and Company, the cross-stitch shop in Blue Springs, opens up at 9.30 on Saturday mornings. They're on 40 Highway. Um, we'll try and post a link below so you can look at that. We are hoping to meet there about 9.30 and just kind of shop and enjoy the enjoy the shop, and then... And she will have stuff from uh, Nashville there, too. So. Right. Nancy and I are going there today to see Yay. what's there. So, <laughs> And she's great about ordering things and getting them to you really yes. fast. She's really good at it. Um, after that, we are going to go to the Panera Bread um, in Blue Springs. It's at 605 Northeast Coronado Drive. Again, we'll put that information below so that you can see that. And we will... Um, I've already talked with the manager there, and he was really funny. I said, will that be okay if we have a lot of stitchers show up? And he said, you mean a whole restaurant filled with ladies? <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> so, Oh, he's going to be perfect for yes. this group. <laughs> so I think it'll be good, and we'll be close yeah. to the shop so that we can, you know, you can go get your... Go get your stash fix and then uh -huh. come and have lunch at Panera and be able and to sit. And a little and, bit. Yeah. And however long you want to stay mm -hmm. is fine. They said they are perfectly fine with us being there. Good. Um, so Good. it'll be it'll be Hopefully fun. we'll meet some new friends too. Yes. And, and expand our stitching community. Yes. Um, and we also kind of wanted to talk about a retreat. We um, The retreat <gasps> that we hosted... <laughs> Is uh, the the location that we have is very small, yeah, and it will not accommodate very many more stitchers, and we we like mm -hmm. that small group a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but what we have thought is that we will be trying to work out plans to host a larger retreat. Maybe we can call this the uh, Central United States Floss Tube Retreat. Okay, and again, we would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. She loves when I come up with things off the top of my head. Um, but, again, we're thinking about the Blue Springs area simply because that's where Cece and company is. Right. And um, she's really excited. Kathy is really excited to um, see where our plans go with that. So we're going to check a few things out today. Yeah. And Hopefully we can check out some of those hotels out there. And yeah. And figure out see what they're like. time-wise where we think it would fit. Right. We're thinking maybe not this year would it be. We're thinking that next year, if it works out, we would probably do it uh, maybe sometime in July because that... Midsummer. Mid yeah, we're trying to figure out where we can be not stepping on somebody else's toes. Right, because we don't want to interfere with anybody else's retreat and, mm -hmm. you know, make you guys have to choose. <laughs> yes. And I know Pam and Steph are having theirs in June. Oh. Um, and so we thought, you know, later in July or maybe 
push into August, but I work for the school district, so I have really limited time that I can do things. Yeah, so. yeah. I can take time off, but mm -hmm. not so much yeah. for Laura. <laughs> Um, we also wanted to talk about, well, so watch for updates on that. We will keep you posted here well, as we'll we tell you. get more information. <laughs> yes, we, we can keep we, secrets. Yes, but mm -hmm. not, not big ones like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not really. Um, we wanted to do some shout outs. Oh yeah. What are we shouting out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I clapped again. I hate that. So we've been watching uh, Floss Tube, and we, you know, the bad thing is that I don't write down names when I watch it. Oh. But we got off the air last week, and Nancy goes, oh, I watched those ones that you talked about, and I really liked them, and I'm like, which ones that I talked about? <laughs> well, not the ones that I talked about on air. So... <laughs> We, I had watched D Squared, and I sent Nancy a message and said, oh, my gosh, you have to watch. They shouted us out. Yeah. Um, one of the ladies came from Sugar Creek, Missouri. Yeah, which is really not far from us here. So mm -hmm. that was really cool that uh, she's from our neighborhood. Yes. And then uh, Kay's Cross Stitch had had some lovely things to say about us, too. And then a new one I new to me that I watched this week um, was Susie Reno. And Susie used to be partners with uh, Teresa Bennett from Shakespeare's Peddler, and they were raised the roof when Teresa still lived north instead of south. <laughs> so, but um, Susie did a lovely market review, and it was really fun to watch. Um, Teresa I also watch that. did you? No, I, I you have too. Teresa also did a really cool video from Market, and it showed um, interviews with a lot of the designers and the shops. Oh, cool! And I'll it was sure fun to, to hear them. Then. So, I, mean, I like to get to learn, um, get to know the people behind the designs. Mm -hmm. You know, why are they coming up with those? And, mm -hmm. and you know, all their quirks. That's fun. Nikki's Creations was on there. <gasps> <laughs> Do I know my sister? Yeah. So anyway, those, I really enjoyed those and I am watching more and more and more and I will try and be better about marking down who I watch so that I can shout them out because yeah. I really like that and I know how excited we get. Yes, yes, because I just sit and wait. Are they going to say our name? Are they going to say our name? I think I went back and told Nancy, okay, D squared shouted us out on this number video yes. at this yes. time. Yes. It was great because, you know, I'd watch through and i go, oh, it's getting close. And I'd call my family and, listen, listen. <laughs> so. That's so fun. So, yeah, I, and we really like it. So, um, okay, we are up to finishes. <laughs> so, you guys are giving me massive mojo. And I... Like she needed it, let me tell you. <laughs> I am stitching, stitching, <clears throat> stitching. So last week I showed you my big lament about having to stitch all this darn yellow behind the words. Well, I finished it. So there is Tuscan Sunrise from Just Nan. And I love how it came out. I love that, uh, that purpley blue at the top and the bottom that just finishes it off and how those flower rows came together. It's just, it's fun. That's very pretty. So, really I pretty. Down. And that was my finish loved this week. It. And loved how the rooster just really sparks it. That little you know. chi charm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the really chiming charm. Ch 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 yeah. <laughs> so, Nancy wanted to share some previous finishes with you. Yeah, because I don't stitch as fast. <laughs> so, one of them I wanted to show you was a gift. And you can't imagine who it's from, right? <laughs> But this is one of my favorite pieces. And Laura, you'll have to tell about it. I don't even know. This the name was of it in or Oh, I don't know the name of it. Um I would love to have the pattern again because I just I fall in love with this every time I come. But um this was from I want to say um it was from a magazine from one of the cross stitch magazines. And I am not a gardener and yeah, my thumb, no things fall off. So, <laughs> but Nancy is a plant lady and, um, I stitched this and the whole time I was stitching it, I thought, Oh, my sister would love this. And I had gotten this piece of fabric. It's a, 
It's a damask fabric, and it has yeah, a really cool sheen. I don't know if you can see that. It's almost yellow. It's um just a nice creamy, kind creamy of how you color. Can see it. And um, this is obviously from when I didn't know anything about needlework because <laughs> I it's was done. Gonna show the back. <laughs> yeah, with masking tape. So really, we should probably rescue it. But look at this. I did it in 1995. <laughs> so. And it says a green thumb is rooted in a verdant heart. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I, it's one of my favorites. Love it. Oh, and the frame that's on it. I went to Hobby Lobby, and this frame was on clearance, and I looked at it, and it, it's so pretty. It just has little flowers and such a nice little detail around. Mm -hmm. It's so soft and goes perfect with it. And then she has this other one I really like. This is one of my... It was so fun to stitch. And it... Mm, I should have figured out who it was. I didn't write it on here this time. But um, I can see them over on the wall. I know. At Hearts, but I can't think who it is. But it's the ladybugs and bumblebees do while away the hours by traveling through the garden leaves and dancing in the flowers. And I put it on this pink check. I told you either last week or the week before. I love this pink check. So, you know, I have switched out several things now to this. And I really think it just sets it off. And, and it really shows better than it seems like it is on the camera. Although, a lot of times when I watch it back, they show better than yeah, I they think do. they do. They do. So, But I love all the little bumblebees and their trails. And mm -hmm. I just think it's so cute. But I wanted to show you. Somebody asked about the check and said they had some and weren't sure what to put on it. Mm -hmm. Try it. Mm -hmm. You know, you just can't. It just kind of goes into the background, just like your uh, over-dyed fabrics do. So just make sure it's a check that you love, and then use it. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I do like that one a lot. Then uh, we know how much you guys like when we compare and contrast. Whoop. You got it? Let me turn it the other way. <laughs> so we have pulled out yeah. an old pattern, yeah. which we only stitched a couple of years ago. Um, I didn't put a date on mine, and I don't think you did on yours either, did you? Mm -mm, I don't. Or we hid it. No, I don't have it on here. So I'll let you show yours first. It's called, who is this by? I always get the wrong one. She always knows. It's, it's either Lavender and Lace or I don't think it's Butternut Road, but it's Lavender and Lace. It's it's Marilyn it's, Levitt emblem. I think it's Butternut. So, I don't know. It's one of her it's Voice older of the Shepherd. patterns. And this is Nancy's. And see her pretty it's blue. And see my fuzzy sheep here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how fuzzy that little sheep is. She brushed him good before we show this so that you could tell. So that's Nancy's. Yeah. I just love this piece. It's so peaceful. And what's your fabric? Do you think it's Silk Weaver? Yeah, I do. And I did not leave the tag on mine, which I normally leave it until I'm done. But this is mine. And mine is green and... Um, and the top to me just looks cloudy and... You know, very. this feels very tranquil to me. I really like stitching on green. So, and let's show them together because we... How are we going to do this? Here, I'll fold in half and you fold your other half. Which half are you doing? <clears throat> you need to do the voice. Okay. So. Oops. All right. Do you want me to hold up here? Or you got it? Yeah. And I'll hold down here if I can get on. Okay, so there we are. Voice of the Shepherd. Very different. I mean, my fabric looks so pale next to Nancy's, uh -huh. which I don't think I've ever noticed before. Uh -uh. And our, I mean, I feel like the the different elements just show <clears throat> differently on the fabrics. Yeah, and I different really... things pop out. They do. And I really had a difficult time stitching it. I, um, I don't know why, but because it was so scattered and confettied, I had issues with the little plants at the bottom, with the trees coming up the top. It it all ended up okay, but I, if you compared it to the design, I don't think it is 100% what she did. 
But you know, I think it looks fine and it worked out so that it looks like the big heart it's supposed to. And I do like it. I do like the little kids on it too. Mm -hmm. The little Amish people. Yeah, very cute. So that is our previous finish. I hope you guys like that as much yeah. as we do. Obviously, we both need to do something to finish. What do you want to do for finishing? Well, I tell you, I went to um, Hobby Lobby last year and I had found a frame. It was actually an oval frame mm -hmm. and it, it fit perfect. But I had several other things in my basket and I thought, oh, I'll come back and get that another time. It was gone. Wow. Gone. So now I'm back to, what do I want to do with it? I don't know. You know, I don't really want to make a pillow. because. And, I and see, I keep thinking that I want a great big pillow with mine. Yeah. I've got a spot where um, I can display some pillows in my house. And I think that's what is drawing me to it. I want to make some things that can be there. Yeah. So. Yeah. You do have a space, but I really don't. Mine has to go on my furniture and then I'm worried that, you know, the cats or my family are going to mm -hmm. hurt it. <laughs> and you hate for all that work to, yes. Yes. Okay, so next, I'm sure you guys are getting tired of my whip parade by now, but here it comes, whip parade part <laughs> five. Is this the end of it? Or? Oh, <laughs> You are mean. My sister oh, no. is mean. <laughs> mean. So you have more bags at home? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so the first one I'm going to Goodness. show you, I have my working copy with me, but I did take a picture of the front cover of the magazine. Um, this is a little boy's bedroom from the old Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine. I have stitched three of these stockings and um, my sons I sent out in a round robin and um, the ladies worked so diligently and it just came home to me and I, I really don't have that much left to finish. But let me tell you, the first one, I should come back a little, the first one was stitched on um, a heather field. And it was more like an Ada. Yeah, you felt that, didn't you? And then the mm -hmm. second one was stitched on... Um, I don't think I've stitched on linen yet, which really kills me. And this one is on an even weave again. Um, I thought it would favorite. hand... Yeah, I, not my favorite. And it makes it really hard for me to want to get in here and work on it. But my son... This was in Australia. Hi, Mel! <laughs> and... Um, my son doesn't even know that this is back at home. So she sent it back to me last year, and I should have gotten right on it and finished it before Christmas, but I did not. So I just have this part of the bookcase you got to it. fill in here, and, and it'll be full, full. And then I have the name to put at the top and a little bit of this um, wallpaper border stuff. So not really that much in the grand scheme of things, but it just needs to get done. It's really cute, too, and the, the flosses are still really, really bright and pretty. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's gorgeous. I loved that series, loved that series. So anyway, it should get done. So then my next one that I have, I was supposed to do a stitch along with my friend Debbie Dewey, and of course, she finished hers, and I did not finish mine. So it is Toy Gatherer from Shepherd's Bush. And again, I really like this. My family bought me um, this kit as a either a birthday present or a Christmas present oh. years and years ago. And I have everything for it. I mean, it's, you know, everything's there. It's even got some funky fibers. Um, can you see those? Are they over here? Oh, here they are. So when I get to his beard, there are these oh. weird funky fibers in here that I think I'm just supposed to tack down. I haven't even read it yet. It's not Whisper. No, it is not a floss. It is something that will have to be couched and laid down. And then... I spied this and I thought I should just show you guys. Look at all the cool stuff that comes with it. 
I mean, all of those beads and charms. That's really, really cool. So a ribbon, I see, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of neat Cute. things on it. And this is what I have done. So I have the sled on Santa's back, and I've kind of stalled. And every once in a while I pick it up and work on it, but I just haven't made it very far. And I think I get um, I get a little behind because I... Um, it's the holes that are left in there are beads and there are a lot of beads and I haven't decided oh. if I want to put them all in right now. Yeah. Cause so. some people do bead as they go along. And I usually do. I just don't know with this size piece if I want to do that, but I also don't want to bead at the end. Yeah. And have to do all I, that. That's like backstitching everything. at the end. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> so then I have this one that my daughter Katie sent in a round Robin. And it is, can you tell the wow, condition of this pattern? Up. <laughs> so, um, anyway, it's birds of a feather, holiday seasons. And it's really cute. And this fabric, Katie absolutely loves. This is um, 32 count sparrow fabric. And I believe Katie did this one. So that's spring. And um, our friend Deanna did this one, winter, because Deanna is the Christmas queen and she makes more <laughs> stock, more uh, ornaments than anybody I've ever known. And I <laughs> and am... It, oh, it says New Year's Eve. I thought at yes. first it said New York. <laughs> That's where she's from. Well, and look, uh, Christmas, New Year's Eve, Be Mine, St. Valentine's uh -huh. Day. Yeah. Cute. So I have not gotten very far, but I chose to do summer. Because Katie and I both have summer birthdays. So I have the word barbecue on there and that little boat and the four for the 4th of July. And I've started the little drummer guy, <laughs> but that, there's not much there yet. So I need to get that done because that's for Katie. <laughs> uh, then my family also... <laughs> I was trying to decide if I bought the pattern or if they bought everything together. But this piece is um, Glory in the Morning by Crossed Wing Collection. And the model is on the wall out at um, CC and Company. Mm -hmm. And I just love it. Now, I'll tell you what is really throwing me on this one. When they printed this pattern... Instead of printing a section all the way, like, horizontally on a page, they instead chose to break it into two pieces. And so you have a line going straight down the middle of the piece. Oh. And it's really frustrating for me because, you know, there's so much checking to make sure that I've got it right. And it's too big to mess up. This is what I have done. And this is the green part at the bottom. But this piece of fabric, I don't know that we can show this whole thing. It's way too big. Yeah. But look at this. It's a beautiful, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So it goes from greens up to the blue sky. So it, look at that. And, and I'm not even to the stitching yet. The stitching down here. <laughs> but I love that one. And I work on it. I did the last time that I pulled it out. I took my pattern and I cut it. And I don't even know that there's overlap. That's the other thing. Oh, yeah. So I, I think that I have that. to have it really, really matched up. So I took my pattern and I cut it and I taped them together. And I think that yeah. should make it go easy. He is so cute. He's over one. You can oh, show him. Wow. He is so cute. So oh, all the little critters are over one. And he is cute. He's got so much detail on him. Mm-hmm. He's not that many stitches, but they got a lot in Very there. Very cute. I like this one a lot. Um, the next one that I have out, I just have the first pattern out. It's the Anniversaries of the Heart. And um, there's floss in here when you get it. Okay. Um, I'll just try not one. to throw it on the floor. <laughs> the first one is Snow Garden. And I love that. Look, Deanna, it's a peacock. <laughs> Our friend Deanna likes peacocks, too. Santa and peacocks. Uh, snowmen and peacocks, really. And I have this piece of fabric from Picture This Plus that is just gorgeous. Um, 
I really feel that what has held me up on this is that I was working with two threads. And so, and it's, it's about 36 count fabric. And the two threads are, were kind of distorting the fabric as far as I was concerned. So I'm going to try and work myself back to just one strand of, fled, of floss. When you say floss and thread at the yeah. same time, it's fled. I got something here, so I'll <laughs> But uh, this is fabric from Picture This Plus, and I just love it. And Marilyn, I told her how I kind of wanted it to come out and what it was for, and Marilyn um, worked her magic and made it come out just gorgeous. I She's love so good it. to us. So she really is. <clears throat> oh, let's Tom. pause for a second. Okay. So Nancy was going to save the surprise, so yeah. I'm always spoiling them. Um, so not next weekend. Next weekend we'll be in McPherson, Kansas. Yes. And we will probably try and sneak away and film um Film a regular video because there should be a room where we can be a little quiet for yeah. a little bit. Yeah, for just it, it'll probably be pretty short. Yes, because we won't have a lot of stuff with us. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe what we'll do is show you what the ladies are working on because we're going to a stitching group. Yeah, so. this will be with Kansas Stitchers again. Yes, and um, some of our absolute favorite ladies, mm -hmm. and um, it's being hosted by uh, Amberly. Yes. Fowler? Yes. Fowler. Amberly Fowler. And uh, she's got this wonderful place set up for us. Mm -hmm. A full kitchen. We've got a place to sit and stitch. We've got a place to do our um, garage sale. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just wonderful. It's but, a lot of fun. Yeah. So Easy to get to. And then the week after that, on Friday, so on the, I think it's the 23rd? I'm off Friday the 23rd, yes. <laughs> we are going to... Dun, 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 dun! Picture this plus. Yeah! Now In the... Abilene, Kansas. Yes. Now, the thing about that is Marilyn will not be there. No. And Marilyn told me very directly and bluntly that she would not be on, on camera, even if she was there. <laughs> However... Uh, the other ladies in the shop will be there, and they will probably be in the back dyeing fabric. And Marilyn has given us permission to be in there and to go back and show that will some of the so dyeing process. Fun. That's so, so much fun. It's it, When you first walk back there, you're just overwhelmed because there's mm -hmm. so much. But that'll be fun to see. It is. And then we're going to move on to Wichita and go see the um, Debbie at Heart's Desire. Debbie isn't sure she's going to be there. She, um, When I was talking to her, she couldn't remember if it was her weekend off or not. <laughs> she got family coming in and wasn't sure when they were going to arrive. Mm -hmm. So, but that shop, that shop. <laughs> I mean, we'll take you on a tour of the shop models in that shop and your job you will be on the floor. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I, I love that place. And it, and the shop is situated just perfectly. It yes. is so filled with light. Yes. It's wonderful to stitch out there. We like to go and just hang out. And uh -huh. um, generally we gather things in the shop. And we take them to the table, and we just look <laughs> like at them squirrel, for a while. Will she know? <laughs> <laughs> we look at them for a while, and then eventually we decide what's coming home with us, yep. and, and put things back where they belong, mm -hmm. and say goodbye to them. <laughs> at least temporarily, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Well, anyway, back to these whips. So I have just a couple more. Um, I have this one that I sent out in a round robin that kind of seems to be my theme today that I did round robin pieces. The big pieces are easier when you do that. Yes. This one is from Long Dog, Long Dog Samplers. If I try to only say one word at a time, it really <laughs> works better. And this one is called Paradigm Lost. And it's beautiful all in one color, isn't it? I almost bought all of that. Now, this reminds me, though, of the Floss Tube Lady Long long Dog, D-A-W-G, Stitcher. She'd love this piece. So I took my daughter, Katie, out to wow. a um, cross-stitch shop by us. And Katie has fabulous color sense. 
And uh, we had one colorway. So this is my fabric. See how pretty that is? It's Weeks Dye Works fabric. It's blue and, and purple. Yes, and it's beautiful. Um, but uh, we had one colorway all picked out, all ready to go. And then Katie found this overdyed floss, this overdyed floss, <laughs> and that was it. So it has now turned into... You just pull when you want me to move. I don't even know if we can get that far. It has turned into this. So Behemoth. see, we're showing you <laughs> bits of it at a time. Thankfully, I can see through this. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's really coming along. You can tell... What I have left is mostly in the middle. And maybe something right here. Uh-huh. A little bit over on the side over here. Over here. And that's about it. But You're um, so close. Look how pretty. So somebody stitched <clears throat> this whole big thing for me. Uh, I loved these ladies. And here's what I like. Look at that. There's a snail and a crab. <laughs> and then a seahorse. And sea a seahorse. And then there are little butterflies and things around and... It's just there's a rabbit at the bottom. I, you know how I like my wrist. Laura did the rabbit. <laughs> yes, I did. And I put the year that I sent this around. So 2008. So don't you think it should have a 10 year anniversary no, and get finished? It's been that long. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Wow, I remember you stitched on it. So, yep. And it, I mean, it's it's just. I love it. I still love it. You're really close. You need to get this done. <laughs> she says I'm really close. But you should see the huge things that are left. I mean, <laughs> there. you know, we were looking at all that. Okay, so I do have like a couple of little letters and a little motif over here where she was showing you the hole. And then I think I have this one to go and maybe a couple. I know I have a bunch of the little stuff around to go. So more than more than you think. Mm -hmm. This is in. Yeah. But this is not. And then I think where you were is in here. It's up here, I think. So the snail is in, the seahorse is in, this one is in, this one is in. Mm. So I think okay. it's you know. I just thought it was higher. Oh Whew. look, it's over here, Laura. Oh, because we're on the wrong side. Yeah. It was by the thistle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> C this backwards reading stuff is difficult. <laughs> um, the next one I have is also a Blackbird Designs. I really love Blackbird Designs. Um, and they're, they're neighbors. If... Yeah, well, they're really pretty close. Neighbors. So, so this is the 2008, 2008, here we go again, <laughs> Mystery Bonus Sampler. Now, I did not start this in 2008. Um, I held on to this and thought about it and looked at it. It um, You could do it as five separate pieces mm -hmm. or as one big piece. And I kind of went back and forth and wasn't sure that I wanted to do it all on separate ones. So eventually I ended up with Casey Blend 35 Count Linen from R&R um, &R Reproductions. And I really, really love the fabric. It's so, so pretty. And it's kind of wheat colored. Yeah, it's really a pretty golden color. Oh, maybe it's... I'm going to hold it back by... Sorry, I don't okay. want to hit you in the face. I don't know if you if you really get to see... It's darker than what that looks to me. But I finished number one and number two. And I'm here on the third one. And the third one is where the house will go. So I am just almost ready to build that house. And <laughs> I think I am, I think I'm just trying to get some little extra stuff in before I start on it. So it's, you know, it's in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. um, I try to make sure that I stitch one a year. And I realize that will take a while. And I realize it took more than a year yeah. between us. Although well, I that think, happens. Yes. I, I have, you can tell I have a lot of whips, and I don't get to them all, and um, that's the problem. So, um, after... And, and see, for me, that bothers me. To have so many? Yeah. Yeah, I have too many for me right now, but I just can't get back into them. See, for me, I like the idea that I know that it's already started, oh. and I know there are a lot of you who really like starting 
new projects, like kidding them up, like doing all of that. I don't like that part. I like for it to I be started. Like that part. <laughs> <clears throat> I get nervous when I go to start it mm -hmm. though, because you know, then it's do I start in the middle? Do I start in the side? Do I start here? Do I start there? And I'm worried that I'm going to have my piece all wrong. Yeah. So. so I like mine already started so that I can just go home and say, oh, what do I feel like stitching today? Okay, you. You get some time. Um, I showed Speaking you this of. one last week, Halloween Eve by Blackbird Designs. And it's on my beautiful purple linen from... Uh, from um, Silk Weaver. Silk Weaver, thank you. That's what a sister's for. And... Oh, Glad I'm good for something. <laughs> my needle is just kind of uh -oh. hanging out funny there. I need to get it. Okay, sorry. That's okay. Technical difficulties. <laughs> just put it on the front. It'll be okay. Well, it's pulled through funny. Oh, well, you need to fix it. Yeah, I just have to get it. Sorry about that. Just had to get it back through. I couldn't quite tell what I had done with it, and it was right on the fold. Okay, so anyway... um. I don't know how to insert pictures, so I don't get to show you where it was last week. Will you hold that side and pull the curl out? I will. But I will show you what I did since last week. So I was only about this far on this vine, and I finished all of that vine. And then um, I already had the moon and this little star in, but I put these other little stars. This one was in, but I did all of these. And... Um, I did that on Wednesday because I had finished um, Tuscan Sunrise and I couldn't figure out what in the world I was going to pick up and work on. And so I, I thought, oh, well, I know that Witchy Wednesday is a hashtag. Did I take a picture and post? No. But I know that <laughs> Witchy Wednesday is a hashtag, so I got it ready. <laughs> and then we talked last week about... Quaker Garden, and I'm going to do this because Michelle Bendy Stitcher was pulling it out, and I um, I decided I wanted to pull it out and get it started, and guess who else is going to stitch it? But guess who was supposed to stitch it together? And our friend Sue Wild is yes. going to stitch it. And I showed you all my stuff last week. I had hog wild blue linen, and uh, from, I believe that's from um, r and &R Reproductions, and I had um, flosses that were similar to what was pictured on the um, on the pattern. So they looked like this. So I had a blue-green fabric and all of those colors with pink and blue. And I started playing last night. Now, she's, she's shaking her head. I did this last night. Last yeah, night. Yeah, wait till you see. So, <clears throat> this is on a Silk Weaver Cashel Linen 28 count, and it's a solo. First off, look at that fabric. But that's all I have done. That's not that much. That's all. All she has done. That's it. Look, see, just that. And part of it I did this morning while I was at the veterinary clinic waiting for two of our cats to get shots. It, it, so. it is more than 30 stitches, so you can count it as a As start. a start, yep. But I'm really excited. Oh, and I didn't pull out. How goofy am I? I'm showing you only the green there. I don't know. Should I let them be surprised or should I show them what I really have for it? Well, I don't even know what you really have for it. I don't know that I brought it. There it is. Okay. So this green is collards from Weeks Dye Work, which I love. Mm -hmm. But I am going wow. to use... Um, I'm using the same white. I kept one. <laughs> I am going to so you don't use have pink now. No, this wood aster. You want to hold that behind it? Do you mind? This wood aster took the place of um, the the pink, and for the gray blue that I had, I've chosen this periwinkle. Uh, now that wood aster is from Victorian Motto from Nancy Turner. This um, is Sampler Thread Periwinkle, and I think mine is old, and it's very gray-purple in yeah, there. Yeah, with purple in it, I can mm -hmm. see. Really nice. Then still using this pretty favorite peony from uh, Nancy Turner. And um, instead of the brown, I'm going to use a light green, Scupper, I can never say this, Scuppernong from Weeks Dye Works. 
And then the darker green is this one, and okay. it's the collared. So these are all my luscious gloss colors. And it's purple. <laughs> I had found it online on a pink fabric. I think that's what started this. <laughs> well, it's funny because I had been thinking, okay, I keep having visions of it being in purple. And um, then Nancy sends me this, look what I found. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not doing it in, in these colors. And there's nothing wrong with no. those colors. They're beautiful. They're pretty. But I just kept having visions of this purple with it. So yeah. that's it. So Nancy, so this week I'm planning to work on more of Quaker Garden. Okay. And maybe I will pull one of my whips and give it a little bit of special attention and see what I can come up with. Okay. How about you? Well, I am working on Anne's alphabet. I've shown you this a couple times mm -hmm. now because I'm kind of like, like a one project gal. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even. Don't even go there. No. I, I was going to make a comparison between us, but you know. So this is where I'm at. So I got the flower all the way in. Last week, I think I had just started on it. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know think I've gotten far. the green and the leaves all the way in. So I've got that. This date, I'm halfway through the bar at the bottom, and then I have the date on the other side, and that's done. I did go ahead and pull out the red <laughs> because it was way too low, and I pulled out the Y that was on there in the wrong spot no, or in the wrong color. Wrong right? color. Wrong color. Okay. So I would have had the whole bar done across the bottom, but I got it over one thread. <sighs> And, you know, because I had stitched the brown and skipped where the gold is and then stitched the brown. And then when I came back and stitched the gold, that's what it was off. Oh, God. So I thought, well, will it show? Will it really show? Yeah, it really showed. So I took it all out. Oh, God. <laughs> so that's what you're working on this week? Yep. Yeah. That will be me. Good deal. Okay, we have one last thing to talk about. Guess where we're at on subscribers? 929 this morning. Cannot believe I know. that. I know. Cannot. This is only our sixth video. Yes. Yes. I think that's what really um, amazes me, mm -hmm. that the number's so high. And I don't feel like we've made that many videos yet. And I can remember after our first video... Um, that I was sending Nancy messages. If we went back and looked, it would be really comical because yeah. I'm like, oh, 15 subscribers! <laughs> so. So we've started thinking about doing a giveaway. Mm -hmm. We don't know what we're going to give away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when we hit that thousand mark, we're definitely going to do something. We'll think of a question to ask and uh, what our prize is going to be because... Now that we're going to Blue Springs today, it could be something really good. We've talked about whether we are buying something to give away or whether we are stitching something for you that we will well, send you. Well, if, if we're stitching, you know it's going to take a while for me. <laughs> <laughs> we may have to let Nancy choose something from her pile because her finished pile is... It's, it's bigger than I want it to be, too. It's not as bad as mine. <laughs> So, because I've been stitching longer, that's yeah. why. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's where we are. We're really excited. So, yes, please continue to like our videos and subscribe to us. Mm -hmm. um, if you feel the need to put a thumbs down, I would really like for you to explain what it is that we're missing because we're happy to take some yeah. constructive criticism and make ourselves better. That is not a problem. I am wondering if... I don't think I told you about this. I am wondering if maybe it is my students from school. Because I hear that some of my students have been tuning in and watching our videos. Oh my goodness. In fact, I have a couple of brothers who grabbed their mom. I told the kids, you know... You can't you you can't subscribe to my channel. We have to because of school and and all of the regulations to do with all of that. I would have to disclose all of this to the district if 
if they were subscribers. And I just, uh, we don't need all the red tape. Right. So. Um, right. This is fun. This is not. Yes. I don't want it to be work for us. And I don't think that we ever say anything or show anything no. inappropriate anyway. But no. I was telling you, I have a couple of boys who have gathered their family and they grab their mom and they sit down and they watch YouTube. They watch our floss tube videos together. Oh my gosh, that's great. So mom gets to see it. So hello students. If you are out there, <laughs> Mrs. Landis says hi. And make sure you're reading this weekend, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> yeah, I did have my boss. Um I was gonna mention she sent one of our videos to her mother in Africa because her mother likes to cross stitch and doesn't have a lot of opportunity. So when she comes to the States, she goes to the different shops. Oh. So um, she sent one of our, our videos to her and I thought that was really that cool. That is. That's cool. So, and you said that she doesn't really have, um, she doesn't lot, really have a way to watch right, a lot of they've things. They've got uh, just short um windows of internet time so you know they can't watch an hour and a half or whatever or the 45 minutes that this has turned yeah, into great this is great though this is one of our shorter ones i know <laughs> we we have an idea where we want our videos to end up and they never end up there no but we feel like we talk the whole time and we're showing you a lot so we hope that you yeah, like that hopefully you're and, entertained and yeah. that's why you keep coming back so, do we have any questions for them this week? I like when we ask them questions. Oh, I don't know. Uh, do you are you a one project stitcher, or do you do multiple projects at the same time? <laughs> and how do are you, you rotate? Nancy, or are you? A <laughs> <laughs> and how do you rotate them if you have yeah, a lot what, of whips? What? How do you determine that? Mm -hmm. I don't even know how so. you determine that. Well, we'll talk about that another time. Okay. <laughs> so for now, she's Nancy. And she's Laura. And we're the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.